So sometimes for um, rejuvenation or correction of sagging skin or heavy lower face um, or for patients troubled by nasolabial folds or wanting a tighter jawline, I'll recommend threads. Um, there are two types of threads we use at Charlotte Skin and Laser. One is called Silhouette, and those are made up of polyl lactic acid, which is the filler known as Sculptra, and they have little small cones that grab the skin and pull up. We also use what's called PDO threads, and these are basically like absorbable sutures. But they have barbs in them, and the barbs grab the skin and pull up. I think a real advantage of the threads, and um, I'll also use them with the Agnes radio frequency, is they help create some lift. So they they play well with fillers, so that I can give you give a patient some nice lift and contour without creating that overfilled syndrome that we often see in celebrities, a big fat face. So we can use the threads um, both with our skin tightening devices as well as our fillers um, to help create youthful lift and contour and avoid that unnatural side effect of looking too full. Um, while also using in younger patients, younger patients come in and they really want a tighter jawline. And I can use the thread just to kind of grab that skin and, and tack it down so that the profile looks tighter um, and we redefine the jawline a little bit better. I can use it to lift jowls. Can also use it to lift a, a, a fold area here that has fallen down, so picking it back up. And again, the reason for doing this is you don't want to just stick filler in a nasolabial fold. It really starts to look unnatural. So we can use a thread to lift that. Other areas we can use threads and do include the, the eyebrow. Um, particularly if you've got a little movement, we can pull up the eyebrow in conjunction with neuromuscular relaxer like Botox. Um, and then there's threads that don't have the barb. So these are barbless threads and they are thinner and they're put in areas where there's fine lines or crepey skin and they help resist the tissue movement there like here when you smile um, and the decollete but as they are absorbed they stimulate collagen so the whole reason we're putting them in is to stimulate collagen threads have been around for uh, a, a very long time since since I was a resident at Duke in the 90s but the the early threads were permanent uh, sutures always made me nervous putting in something permanent the new threads are absorbable and as they're absorbed they stimulate collagen renewal in your skin so you've got the thread in there that's supposed to last about a year but it's stimulating collagen renewal for you as it goes away. So it, it, a lot of people are turned off, oh, it only lasts a year. Yes, it actually probably lasts a little bit longer, but it's giving you collagen while it's in there. So it is rejuvenating. Um, it's like a rejuvenating implant. Um, but it's, it, the threads don't stand alone. They, they work in conjunction with skin rejuvenation with our lasers and energy devices. They work with our dermal fillers to restore contour and uh, volume. They work with our radio frequency devices that we use to tighten um, skin along the jawline and reduce fat, like the Agnes, to reduce fat. So they, they kind of help us achieve our goals and help everything create a more natural look for you rather than relying on just one thing like fillers. If you just rely on fillers, they tend to get a little bit big. So the fillers and the threads kind of go hand in hand.